Hi, I'm Deb Slocum. I'm a member here at the Foundry Art Market. I will be the featured artist during the Spotlight Gallery show starting March 10th through April 23rd. I hope you'll come and see it. My style of art is a mixed media. I use a lot of different materials when I create my art. Resin, cheesecloth, I use inks, I use found objects, dried flowers, so a little bit of everything. This is one of my finished pieces that will be in the show. If you would like to see some of the processes involved in this, you can join me in my studio. Uh, some crackle medium going on here, some kintsugi elements with the gold around the cracked edges, and there's also some three-dimensional parts on this where I have crushed glass and even some foliage that has been incorporated with resin. So if you'd like to come see me working in my studio on these pieces to see how I created them, join me now. The focus of my show is going to be called uh, The Texture of Feelings. And the reason I wanted to focus on that is because a lot of my work lately has involved using textural type of um, mediums and anything from resin to crackle mediums, um, working with multimedia. And so that's kind of where I was going with that. When I was thinking about it, a lot of that also has to do with how I feel when I create artwork. The history with me in art, it's always been about expressing myself through the artwork itself because sometimes I'm not always good at expressing myself verbally. When I first started these pieces, I was in a bit of a snit. <laughs> <laughs> some personal things going on and underneath the first layer of gesso are actually written words on the pieces of how I was feeling about certain things. It was my way of expressing myself without being visibly exposed to whoever might see the pieces and I think that's part of the beauty of the the whole process is you you can have those feelings you can be in that space and then you can change what goes over top of that and it's uh, kind of an analogy towards life you you can get broken you can get beat up you can have trials and tribulations but you learn how to fix yourself you learn how to mend yourself and hopefully you can create something beautiful through the process of it that's where a lot of the work is coming from, is my own personal experiences. It's me pouring myself out onto a canvas. I tend to listen to a lot of music when I work. It, my kids will tell you it tends to be very emotional music <laughs> and they're tired of hearing it, but it's things that I connect with, how I'm feeling, um, and it, it tends to put me in a certain zone, just a pure expression. We kind of talked a little bit before about having things that were broken and how that affects your life and how you repair yourself. In the Japanese culture, they do what's called kintsugi, which they will take broken pottery bits and things like that. And instead of throwing those pieces away, they take gold leaf and silver leaf and powders and mix it in with, uh, I think it's an enamel, and they repair those surfaces. So in some ways it makes the piece even more beautiful than it was originally in its unbroken state. And that's, that's what's cool about those little, the little pieces. And it's, the other thing that's cool about the little pieces is it makes it accessible for, for people who maybe they can't afford a big piece of art, but they like, you know, the little, the little guys and they can put it, you know, on their desk or in a nook in their home or something. And it still captures the flavor or captures the feeling of what I'm working on just in a smaller scale. And they, they tend to be fun to work on because I don't feel so much pressure when I'm working on those because they are small. Um, sometimes those are even my favorite pieces as the little guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the behind the scenes in my studio and also some of the finished works that you'll see during the Spotlight Gallery show. I hope you come in, view the show, view the other artwork in the gallery. Be sure to follow and like our Instagram, our Facebook, and our YouTube channels. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.